Hey, and welcome to VFX Tutors, and I'm Josh, and in this tutorial we're going to be continuing with sort of refining our edit. Uh, so in this one we're going to actually open it up in uh, Premiere Pro, and I've already put the edit down in uh, the sequence already, um, but I can go through and just show you like basic stuff. So all I did was, if you just go File, Import, and you import your stuff, and basically it will come to here. I'm not going to go into huge details. I'm more talking, going to talk about the sort of uh, making your edit ref. So I've imported my shots, and you just as simply as just click and drag them into your timeline. And I've staggered them. Let's meet that for a second. I've staggered them so I can edit them easily. So um, with my like final sort of editing stuff, I'll probably use Premiere Pro or something else. But it just makes it easier and faster for me to get out edit reference instead of uh, transcoding it and stuff like that and have a bit more capability to do punch-ins so basically all I've done is just come in here and I've I've done quite a few like you probably see here like this is how many I've done just by doing this simple edit and just doing over and watching it over and over and just linking because sometimes you can't really get the true playback so you have to render it out and uh watch it basically and just keep refining it and seeing where things are not kind of working and the, the main thing that i noticed with my my music because yours is going to be different because you can't use my music because i can't give it to you because it's something i've purchased um i noticed my music was actually a little bit um a bit slow and it it kind of felt a little bit um a bit more borderline a little bit depressing so i, I did actually I did actually speed up my, uh, so I just right click and right click and went to speed duration. And I just sped it up by 106%. So a really small amount, just enough to sort of um, bring up the tempo a bit, basically. And as if you can hear it. Ooh quite slow but um just brings it uh makes it a little bit we'll play it in the end anyway so um it can be quite annoying if i play that through so i've just been basically going through and the first thing that i did i went through and i did my sort of shot edits that i know that i'm going to do so most of these are pretty pretty much the same as what i did out of um uh, red cine x so these are no different apart from this one which the frame range hasn't changed but you'll notice that I've pushed in a little bit. So it's this is still the same plate, but on, by the time it gets to the next shot, we've pushed in a little bit tighter to him. And you can do that by uh, going to your editing. And you can see I'm, I'm on 155. So I've put about 100. You know, I've, I've translated it as well, but I pulled it down and repoed it. And this is just something that I can get a rough edit for something that. Instead of spending all the time post-production refining it, I can get something really quick and easy out that I can watch. So I've just gone through. And this means that I can do draw-overs as well, so I can get a better idea of what I'm going to be putting into shot. Cool. So I haven't really done much else apart from... It doesn't... Because it's still got car 5K footage in there, because we still need to do the push-ins properly. This is just for the edit ref, so we can watch our edit properly. And I basically have just dragged and dropped them all in there. So I haven't changed anything from what I've done from Red Cine X. Apart from these are at the cut range. They do have, these do have uh, handles. So you can see we've got those extra frames to, to pull and to sort of change them with. So we have that wiggle room to sort of, we, we have a lot of wiggle room basically. We've got that much wiggle room to adjust it around, which is what I wanted. That's why it makes it a little bit easier. So that's why frame handles are quite important. So yeah, I've just dragged them in and put them in. Nothing, I've done nothing special. Um, and I have put this adjustment layer on there. I don't know if you know how to do adjustment layers. Um, we can just delete that, do that again. So, so, so if you want to put the film bars on, I always do this on an adjustment layer so it doesn't affect any any of the, the actual footage. And you can go down here to the bottom left and you go new item, adjustment layer, click OK. 
and that'll just make a, a layer, which is effectively just nothing there. Just means you can do a little adjustments. And I'll go to effects, and if you just type in crop up here, it will have the crop, and you can click and drag that on there. So if you go back to the top and click editing, we can now see that we've got our crop in our adjustment layer. And if we go to our top, you can see we can bring it down. So let's just put that on 10% or maybe even 12 and go to our bottom 12. So now you've got a more of a, a filmic look and you can do that to the proper, uh, the proper actual uh, aspect ratio. But this is just for a quick check, see if anything's uh, kind of a little bit out of shot. And it all, all seems okay, but I don't actually want to put that in my edit ref. Because it will limit me to what I can actually see in my edit. Cool, so once I've got all that in, um, I did just put an exponential fade on here, which is just pretty much going on to the effects. Um, audio transitions, crossfade and exponential fade. Just so it's a little bit nicer. And that's pretty much it. This is not like a masterclass in how to use Premiere Pro. Um, this is just me going through and refining my edit and also just showing you that I won't just do my edit once. I'll, I'll keep refining it till I'm happy with it. It's not something that you want to do quickly and just like put it to the side. You really want to make sure that because timing in your shots is, is really important. So I do actually spend quite a lot, of time, a lot of time on this and people that work in sort of editorial as well it's what they do all day long, and it's it's actually really difficult to get a nice flowing sequence. So um, it can be very difficult if because this I, this is probably missing some shots to be honest. And yeah, um, that's all I've done in this. Nothing special. I just wanted to just kind of showing you every step that I've done in this process of making this advert. And like I say you don't have to do this, but I I feel like. Going through this sort of edit step is very, very important to get the timing and the sort of, not only that, once we've rendered this out, we can do little uh, draw overs and that get, gives you a better idea of what the storyboard's supposed to be. So all I've done now is just export this out. So I just go File, Export Media, and this will open up our uh, media export. So depending on what you want, I just put one on 1080p. So I don't want to do it with the full res because I don't want to... I don't want to see it at 5k and I won't do it again but you can call it that and you just click export and that will go through and it will export then you'll have what I want to use and we will play it So that was the edit ref. I'm not even sure how that's going to look playing back, to be honest. Um, it looked like it was juddering a bit. Um, if it doesn't look that great, I'll just switch out for the actual clip. But yeah, um, this is not a crazy long tutorial or anything uh, crazy sort of um, detailed. It's just showing my every step that I'm doing. And the, the editing step is, is really important. And I, I like to, because I'll probably do my final editing in here as well. So I've already got this set up for me to go. Which is more important because so I have to, once I've done my CG, what I do is swap out these shots and my edit's done. And I can continue refining them. So, yeah, so there was pretty, this was a pretty simple tutorial, not really even a tutorial to be honest, more of a, a, a talk through of what I'm doing. Um, and now we've done all them, we'll actually start moving on to now we've got our shot and our edits done. We'll now go on to processing some of our onset uh, data. So the thing that takes the longest is the the scanning. 
So I think in the next one we'll do the scanning. So this hasn't been much of a tutorial, but hopefully it'll, you'll get to understand my sort of process of doing things. Um, and this just means we set it up so we can uh, uh, drop in our edits later. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little talk through. Um, don't forget that like and subscribe button. It really does help. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.